If you're still taking notes in Notebook LM, Notion, or Obsidian, you're missing out in a massive way because it's a brand new AI tool that's the most powerful AI note taker and personal knowledge engine that I've ever seen. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this tool is, why their latest update destroys Notebook LM, Notion, and so many other tools that you're currently using, how their new editor works, and I'm gonna share with you three new game-changing ways that you could use this AI tool. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is called GetRecall.ai because this allows you to learn fast and retain more because this allows you to have a self-organizing knowledge base where you can come through and you can summarize whatever you want. You can chat with all the different things that you've read, you've heard, you've watched. You could identify all the different connections between them. You could review anything in there and you could recall anything about that. If we come over here, I want to show you exactly what this looks like. So for those of you that don't know, I have another YouTube channel that talks all about the TikTok algorithm. So I'm constantly keeping up to date on the TikTok algorithm and it's as simple as me coming over here clicking on add content where I can upload any URL that I come across I could actually do a search across Wikipedia Wikidata or Google's knowledge graph or I could upload PDFs I can import things like bookmarks I can import from pocket from markdown files or I could upload my own empty node if I wanted to just give details here. In addition to that, what you could also do is actually get the recall Chrome extension. And what this is going to allow you to do is whenever you're on a YouTube video, for example, I'm on Andrew Huberman's video right here, or let's say I was interacting with an article, I will be able to actually bring up this right here. And this allows me to come through and get a summary. It allows me to chat with the source content, or if I wanted to, I could actually come over here and save this. And then this is going to save over inside of my recall app. So basically this allows you to keep track of everything that you've ever interacted with on the internet. You can then come over to graph and you can see how all these different things connect here, or you could chat with each one of these things. For example, if we come over here, we type in at, now we could pull up certain resources and we could chat with anything that's actually in our knowledge base. So let's say that we're over here reading this buffer article about the TikTok algorithm and a guide to it for 2026. What I could do is I could pull up recall right here and I could add this for a detailed summary and then this goes through and actually builds me out a detailed summary. Or I could have this go through and I could get this to actually read through all of this or I could come over here to connections and I can link this to all of these different connections. I could save this or I could chat with this. For example, I can say, what does this say about the best time to post? And then this will go through and this is actually going to reply to me based on what is in the article and if it actually says anything about that. And it goes through and gives me all the different best practices here, which is incredibly useful. And now I could add this into my notebook if I wanted to. I could copy this or I could get this to regenerate this response if I didn't like what it said. And on top of that, if I click into any of these sources, what this then allows me to do is go through the notebook right here, which is a detailed summary. I can chat with this right here. I could generate AI quizzes off of this, if you were trying to learn something or you were trying to test your knowledge on something, you could come over here and actually start this quiz now, which is pretty awesome. And we could go through and if you wanted to, you could actually peek on the answer and where it's actually getting that answer from inside of the source. And they allow you to mark this up however you want. For example, we could come over here, we could highlight certain things, we could change the color of this, we could change the format of this. And if you wanted to with AI, you could actually come over here and completely reformat this to make this a lot more readable if you felt like it wasn't that readable. And then from there, you could come over here and you could export this, you could share this, you could upload images here, or you could delete it. Pretty much, you could do whatever you want with all of the knowledge base that you have from across the internet and things that you've collected, especially since their auto tag feature goes through and actually tags everything for you, which is incredibly helpful for two reasons. One, you don't have to remember to tag everything. And then secondly, if you come over here in a chat, let's say that we wanted to talk to everything that had a marketing tag, we could simply come over in a chat, we could do at and we could do marketing and we could grab this tag right here and then talk to all those source materials all at once. And then if you come over to this review section right here, you could see that you can actually go through and this uses spaced repetition in order to enhance your knowledge. So this is great for work, this is great for school, this is great for studying. And if we click on start review right here, this will then go through and ask us 10 questions in order to see which one of these things 
actually matter. On top of that, I really love how I could come over into my notebook and I can mark this up however I want and I can edit this all incredibly easy with their new editing feature because again, this just makes it so much easier for you to be able to take your notes from all across the internet, any type of medium that you've been interacting with, have them all in one place very organized. Now, before I get into those three crazy use cases that you could use the tool for, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below right now and get started with Recall today for free. This tool is gonna to completely transform the way that you interact with content and you're gonna wish that you found out about it sooner. Use case number one that I have here is this can now replace every other note-taking app that you have because again, it doesn't matter if you're on an article over here or if you're on a YouTube video, you can pull this up wherever you are on the internet in order to have recall right here. And this is going to allow you to go through and ask questions. It's going to allow you to go through and get detailed summaries. It also allows you to add any type of notes that you want here, which is incredibly powerful. In addition to that, we could come into this reader right here and change the way that this actually shows up. So basically, if we think that this article is too complex, or if we're using this for like a medical paper or something like that, that's just super complex, we could have this go through and rewrite this so that it's way easier to understand. And it's actually one of my favorite things to do because I personally like my notes in a very specific way. And this allows me to put them like this. And then I could go through and I can add this in. I could tag it however I want. And then I know that it's going to be on my recall so that I can do things with it later. On top of that, I really love how I could come over here and I can mark this up however I want. Again, this is like having Notebook LM, ChatGPT, and Notion all inside of one tool. Use case number two that I love this for is how easy this makes studying for exams. For example, let's say that we had a chemistry 101 exam coming up. Guess what I could do? I could come over here and I could upload all of my PDFs and all of my notes from class by literally just clicking on choose file, coming over to my downloads, and I can upload all of that here. In addition to that, what this allows me to also do is come over here and very easily be able to add in YouTube videos. For example, I found this intro to chemistry basic concepts and I wanted to actually use this in order to study. So I'm gonna click on get recall right here, and then I'm gonna click on save, and this is gonna save this into my recall. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing with this one right here, which is about general chemistry. So basically, this allows me to take all of my class notes, no matter what format they're in, and I could grab notes from across the internet, and now I can have it all saved right here and tagged right here very easily, so I could go through and I can chat and I can create a study guide, I can create a quiz, and this makes it way easier for me to be able to learn things. In addition to that, when we come over to review right here, guess what? We could come over here and we could create cards and questions, or we could set up a recall review. And the other thing that I love about this is again, we could come over here and we could actually pull this tag right here. For example, this chemistry tag, it's then going to get all of the details that we've uploaded about chemistry. And we could say something like, please create a comprehensive study guide. And then this will go off and this will create a comprehensive study guide with all of the knowledge and all of the information that we have uploaded here. And then from here, we could actually use this to create quizzes. We could mark this up however we want. And one of my favorite things is actually to go through and just actually study everything and everything that I've learned and said, hey, I do know this. I go through and I cross it off. And this gives me a study guide that I can actually interact with that I have on the internet instead of having something like on a notebook. In addition to that, I also did want to call attention that Recall also has a mobile app. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to use your study guide both on the computer and on your mobile app when you're on the go, which is incredibly powerful. Now, the third use case that I have for this is actually something that I love. So we can see right here that I go through and I actually keep track of all of my productivity. Anybody that knows me knows that I am super obsessed with this and I am super obsessed with how much I am getting done and how good I am at actually getting things done. Now, another kick that I've been on is going down the rabbit hole of watching YouTube videos about how to be even more productive or how Elon Musk is productive or how all these famous people that I like and admire are productive. So now what I can do is I can actually come over here with recall, I can save this in here. And then what I can do is actually have this review my productivity and my schedule and offer how I can actually be better. We're going to come over to chat. We're going to type in at, we're going to grab this YouTube video that I was just watching. We're going to grab my weekly schedule and I'm going to ask it something like, can you please help me optimize my schedule for next week? 
based on last week's schedule and the learnings from this YouTube video. And now what this is going to do is this is actually going to go through and take action and create my schedule for the next week. So this goes through and this gives me what my optimized weekly schedule should actually look like in terms of a morning routine, deep work blocks, themes for each one of my days. And look, this is actually hyper specific to what I do because it understands what I do because it has all the things that I do. We come over here with phone and distraction management, energy management, prioritizing like a CEO. And now I have exactly what my schedule should look like. And we can continue to chat and we could add this into our notebook if we wanted to. I'm going to say, looks great. Please make that daily schedule for every day of the week. And then this is going to go through and this is actually going to create this. Again, this is exactly like having Notion, ChatGPT, Notebook LM, Obsidian, all in one tool for a way cheaper subscription than you pay for all of those other tools, which is pretty awesome right here. And now we could see that we have all of this. I'm gonna wait for this to finish. I'm gonna add this into my notebook and then we could format it however we actually want to. But this right here is awesome because otherwise I would have had to take the time in order to actually come up with this. And it's kind of a pain to do that. So we're gonna click on add to notebook right here and then we're gonna have that. And I could come over here and see that this is in my notebook. Again, I can edit this however I want. And I love this a lot because this literally just went through, took two different sources and actually did something for me and created something for me that otherwise I would have had to do in the past, but I don't have to do that anymore because of AI tools like this. Now, as a reminder, if you go to the pinned comment below, you could get started with Recall today for free. In addition to that, I have a discount code down there and you could get 25% off if you do decide to upgrade. So what are you waiting for? Check it out right now.